What's up, MG Show Choir? Today we are going to be going over your hair and makeup looks for the 2023 season. Starting off with learning how to do your base stage makeup. Please note that you can do your makeup in a different order than I do. Let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm going to put on my handy dandy headband because my hair gets in the way. Anyways, forehead reveal for you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so first off, this is optional. We have the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. This really helps like your makeup stay on for the whole show. I know personally from my experience, um, my makeup tends to rub off or just sweat off, so this will really help grip your makeup. Okay, so you do a couple pumps of this. I think it's around $9. It's optional, honestly, but I recommend it. I use it in my everyday makeup, very helpful. Um, next, we're going to go on to a very controversial first step, which is brows. So first, let's see, where is it? Let me find it, okay. We have the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow. Retails for around $10.99. You can find it at your local Walgreens. Oh yeah, my chipped nail polish is really aesthetic for you guys. Okay, so I think eyebrows are very important in the makeup process because, for show choir in general, because eyebrows really help with expression on stage. And if you struggle with expression, which is good to practice, um, eyebrows really help you in that first step of just showing expression on stage. So, as it states in the name, it has a very micro brow sort of tip that really gets into fine details and lines. Allison, shut up, stop. <laughs> so you're just gonna take your brow, pencil, and you're just going to fill in your hairs as little or as much as you like. Uh, blonde hair, I would recommend doing a lighter shade. Um, brown hair, there's a, a lot of different colors for this specific product in general but I really recommend it. It really gets in there. Yeah. Um, I also want to note that if you look a little silly while you put on your stage makeup, do not worry. Um, a lot of the makeup process for show choir is over exaggerating your looks to make sure that your facial expressions and everything are shown. So that includes heavy eyebrows, heavy contour, stuff like that. Okay, anyway, so moving on. Another step that you can kind of include into your brows that will really like hold them in place is brow gel. So next we have, it's a little dusty. <laughs> we have the e.l.f. Brow Lift. It's a clear brow gel. Let me open it up for you to see. Oh yeah, mine is used. I use it every day, as you can see, which means it's good. So, oh wait, why am I closing it? I need it, okay. So basically, what you're gonna do, you can also get, there's a lot of different um, e.l.f. or not, there's a lot of different brow products you can find at Walgreens that are cheap and have a spoolie, which is a, this little thing at the end that helps comb through your brows. But, um, pers so what you do with this is, I'm gonna show it in the camera. You're gonna take and scoop up some of that gel onto the spoolie and just wipe, whoa, wipe it on the back of your hand. And then you're going to take it on your brows and you're just gonna comb it through and really lather that on so they stick straight and very nicely. They might look a little stupid at first because, you know, it looks like you're laminating your brows. That's an option if you want. I personally don't wanna do that, but anyways. So, just continue to use as much as you want and just lather those on to your brows. Okay, we're back. Next, we're going to start getting real with the makeup. First step that is commonly used in your everyday stage makeup is a foundation. So I do not have the product that I'm gonna be recommending. This is just my personal foundation that I'm gonna be using for comp season. Um, but a good foundation that you can use, that you can find at Walgreens for very cheap that has good coverage and is amazing for comps is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's around, I don't know, seven, eight, nine dollars. Find it at Walgreens. This is not Maybelline Fit Me, but yes, this is ColourPop, also cheap. Okay, anyways, let's get started. So, what you're gonna do, take your foundation, you can pump it on the, pump it on the beauty blender, pump it on your hand. I'm personally gonna pump it on my hand, just a couple pumps or two. Um, you can make it, I recommend very full coverage. 
The thing about Maybelline Fit Me is that it's very full coverage and, you know, stays on for very long. So you're just gonna dab it. I put a lot. <laughs> but you're just going to dab it all over your face. This, as you can tell, was my shade for comp season because comp season is in the winter, so it's very light on me. You can go a little bit darker, I guess. I would recommend just trying to stay in your shade range as much as possible. See, love that winter shade. Am I right? Anyways, so you're just gonna continue to blend it out. A good thing to remember when blending out your foundation is blending it down the neck, especially if you do decide to use a shade that's a little bit light or darker than what you normally use. So if you take your foundation, you're just going to make sure to blend it down the neck so it evenly distributes. You can even do it on your ears too if you're feeling a little spicy, but yeah. Make sure to blend it down your neck. Please do not forget this step because if you have up close pictures being taken of you, at comp season and your foundation isn't blended down your neck and you have a darker shade than what you are like actually are that's going to be a little bit embarrassing so i just want to save you from that lovely embarrassment of not blending your foundation oh. hey guys we're back looking like flashback mary a little bit it's okay trust the process that's why we have a tutorial so next is concealer personally i recommend the elf camel concealer um here it is. I don't have a graphic for this one, but this is what it looks like. Elf. I recommend the camel concealer, not the hydrating concealer, because the camel, like the normal one, is um, a little bit more matte and full coverage. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using this one personally. Um, the camel concealer would be a dupe for my NARS. It's a bit not cheap. So I don't recommend buying this for comp season if you're not gonna be using it often. Anyways, so I'm just gonna take my concealer and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight the high points of my face to really give that lift. So personally for me, I like to highlight underneath my eye, creating like a little triangle right here and then lifting it kind of like if you were to do a wing eyeshadow, just putting it right in the in outer corner of your eye and then doing the same on the other side. The key to highlighting will just like, if you like practice it, it'll make your face look super snatched, so. Okay, we're back. I finished highlighting my face. Anyways, so <laughs> next step is you're going to just blend it. I recommend a beauty blender like this. Zoom in on my really crusty, dusty sponge. Okay, okay. So I recommend one that looks like this in particular, especially since it has a little pointed tip at the end that really gets into the cracks and crevices of your faces. Yeah. On to contour slash bronzer slash hopefully contour because that bronzer would just make you look orange. Okay, so what I personally like to do, this is another recommendation of mine. I have some cream contour. You can find e.l.f. putty contour, I think, at, um, Walgreens and Target and Ulta, no matter where you go, it will probably be there because e.l.f. is very common. So what I use, I don't know, this is a pretty popular product. It's not that cheap, but it's, oh, so it's double-sided. Um, <laughs> it's the e.l.f. or e.l.f. Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. But what I recommend is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. You can find it at um, Walgreens, Target. Again, all of the above. It's around five to six dollars, I think, and it's perfect for contour. So, what I recommend if you really want your makeup to stick is using cream contour before you put on powder. So, what I do, um, you can either just glide it on like that, or you could use a brush. Um, for today, since I want the contour to again be a little bit more heavier, I'm just gonna stick it on like this. So, you're just going to do it right above where you put that concealer earlier if you did, but just like right on the cheekbone. And then make a little like, a little E. That, that does not look like an E, but you see what I mean? Like a little E, yeah. And then you're just gonna do some at the top here, another one over here, and then you're gonna do that same E on the other side. And then, this is also where it gets very important to blend your makeup. <laughs> when you, if you want to, you don't have to put it here, but if you want to put it right along the jawline, it's good to do that too if you want. 
but you have to make sure to blend because I've had too many instances where I didn't blend very well and I looked absolutely ratchet. So, next, what we're gonna do for cream contour, blend with a brush. I don't care what any of you say, if you don't like blending with a brush, for stage makeup, if you want it to be very, very like intense as it should be, use a brush. Because if you use a blend, beauty blender, the beauty blender will, will all the product up and it won't be left, like there won't be much left on your face. If that makes sense, it should make sense. Okay, as I was blending out my contour, I wanted to note that when, especially blending up here and down here, you can use a beauty blender for your jawline like the foundation to blend down your neck to make sure it's not just a harsh line right there. And then when you um, blend up here, make sure you're blending the contour into your scalp. So it kind of goes into your hair a little bit. I don't know, it just looks more blended that way. So yeah, that should be the end of your contour, um, cream contour, if you decide to do that. Um, you can add as little and as much as you'd like, honestly. Um, you can build up as much as you'd like. It really is dependent. All right, we're back. All blended, all nice and snatched. Now, this is the part for contour that I recommend specifically for the people who don't want to do cream contour as well. Um, next is just normal powder, bronzer slash contour. So again, I recommend the Wet n Wild contouring palette. Um, I just use the Hoola by Benefit. Yeah, this is what I use, it hit pan, it's old. But this is a good powder, the Wet n Wild contouring palette is a good dupe for this because it's very, very similar. So basically, you're just gonna do the same thing um, with the brush. You're just gonna pat the powder onto the contour because basically what you're doing is you're setting that cream um, if you do use cream. Either way, it'll still be there as long as you add a lot, um, <laughs> which I recommend, again, because contour is just really, I feel like it's just a very important part of stage makeup. Um, but yeah, if you do use cream contour, you don't have to put that much if you're just setting it, but if you just use the powder, um, use around as much as you did for the cream contour. All right, moving on to one of my favorite steps, blush. Okay, so what I personally recommend for this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Um, we have it right here. Connection members, if you were in connection last year, you probably will have this, and this is the exact same shade. Um, it is a very good working blush as long as you know how to use it. Because I know a lot of people struggled with it because it is a cream blush, so it's just not very commonly used, I guess. I guess it's becoming more popular anyway. <laughs> but basically, what we recommend this year, I don't think we had a specific color, but using warm tones is really, really good for stage makeup, especially like bright bright, like vibrant tones that will really be able to show off on stage. Um, I had my, oh here it is. So I have the NYX Wonder Stick. I don't know which one is more warm tone. I would say, let's show. This is what it looks like. It's dual ended. This is also a good one if you can't find the putty blush anywhere. Um, I would recommend using this side. Actually, either one would be pretty good. These are both really good examples of warm tone blushes. Um, I guess you could use a little bit of both. I. I'll just use a little bit of both. Anyways, so what I recommend for blush, again, um, is just the way you apply it will really like affect how it comes off and how long it stays. So what I do every day when I apply blush is I take the blush, whatever type it is. Um, I actually might just use a putty blush as an example if you do get it. I'll use a little bit of both of the NYX and the e.l.f. But basically what you do is you take the end of your beauty blender, as you can tell, I use this every day, and you're just going to rub it in there because then the cream, oh, oh God, that scared me. Uh, the cream will be like actually do what the formula needs to do and it'll become softer and easier to apply and more like a cream. So basically what you're gonna do then is just apply it to the high points of your face. Honestly, blush is a preference on where you put it as well. Um, you can put it on the high points of your face or you can put it on the apples of your cheeks. For stage makeup, it doesn't really matter. I, I would say this one is more of just a preference. But as you can see, this blush is very good in general, honestly. I would recommend just applying a lot, especially for stage makeup, making it vibrant, 
noticeable on stage. I just applied a lot. I kind of look like a clown right now. But again, it's okay. Honestly, you will probably sweat it off by the end of the performance. So yeah, I just recommend putting a lot on, making sure it's noticeable. It'll make you look more like expressive in all forms. You can put it on your nose if you want to. All right, next step is powder. This is really, really essential in making sure your makeup lasts all day, I'm, or all comp, you know what I mean. Um, as you can see, I've been using this baby for comps for a couple years now. It's a bit rough looking. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Um, I recommend using a translucent powder and making sure that you do not use a powder darker than you because it will take away the entire effect of the concealer. So you can use a beauty blender. I have a little like pad right here that I like to use, but today I think I'm just gonna use a beauty blender because I think this will be the most common thing you use, commonly used thing. Yeah, so you're just going to, you can put it in I have a lot in my thing already, so I'm not gonna put it into the lid, but you could if you want. But basically, all you're gonna do is you're going to dip into that powder, and what you're gonna do is you're going to lay it everywhere that you put your concealer. So you're just gonna put it underneath your eyes and making sure you really set that in. If you look cracked and cakey, that is okay. Like, I'm serious. Everybody looks a little bit cakey at these comps. Sometimes a little bit too much cakey, but it just happens, and it's just a part of comps. So if you ever feel stupid, don't. Seriously. That's the one thing I recommend with show choir as a whole. You never look more stupid than you think. This next step is kind of optional, but I recommend using the Milani setting spray. Make it last original setting spray. Um, it is very, very, I think it's pretty cheap, and it helps to set your powder in place along as everything else. So you're just gonna spray it everywhere. Next we have highlighter. So what we recommend specifically for connection is the NYX Born to Glow, right? Born to Glow highlighter. And make sure you're using the gold shade or if you wanna use this for dimension, you can as well. Um, but we're going to be using the gold shade today. For uh, brushes, I recommend using like a fluffy brush like this. Let me. This is a, a Morphe brush. James Charles actually recommended this. <laughs> I've been using it for years. It's very, very helpful in highlighter. So you're just going to be dipping into your business highlighter business just a little bit. I don't know how pigmented this is, so I guess I'm gonna be your little lab rat for this. But you can like kind of tap it off if you want. And then for highlighter, what you're gonna do is you're going to put it right on your cheekbone. Yeah? I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. <laughs> Help, okay. Oh, there we go. Very gold, yes! Yes, gold! Yes! <laughs> Killing that! So you're just gonna put it right there. You can make it really glowy, especially for connection members, because the whole point of, of this is being gold, and we wanna make sure that it is very vibrant. Hi, MG Show Choirs. That is your finished base makeup tutorial for 2023, all complete. Now you're going to be skipping to your two specific groups for hair and makeup looks. Good luck!